On Wednesday, January 20th, Cyber Compass, the district's Internet Awareness Committee, held a forum at Conard High School titled, Let Your Fingers Do the Talking, Texting, Sexting, and Teens. Even though this forum was in the making for months, it coincidentally happened after a Conard High physical education and health teacher became the subject of a police investigation for allegedly sending inappropriate text messages to a female student. Sexting is the new frontier in law enforcement and parents definitely need to be concerned. They're the first and last line of defense, mainly in informing and educating their children about how images can really do them harm. This was an informational event with various panelists, principals, an attorney, students, and law enforcement to help parents and students make safe choices. This little object of communication, a cell phone, used by both children and adults, can get someone into serious trouble with the police if it's used inappropriately. What they do on the cell phone can become a rise to the level of a criminal act, uh, such as whether they threaten someone via cell phone, if they're harassing someone. But also, the biggest and one of the latest things is uh, sexting, which is sending uh, you know, sexually explicit pictures or video of you know, basically children, if they're under 16, via text message. Uh, you know, it's really possession of child pornography. And if children receive that and they forward that on, thinking they're doing it innocently because it's, you know, they received it, that could rise to the level of, of a criminal action. The teacher that is under investigation was not mentioned during the discussions. A lot of parents and students attended this forum and participated by asking questions and seeking some definitive answers. We have a policy that cell phones are off and away during the school day. Does that mean that some kids abuse that policy? Certainly. And, that, and that's something that we are concerned with because there are cameras on cell phones. And they, you know, we have had incidents of cheating and academic dishonesty, and that's something we need to be really aware of. But this, we're trying to make this not about punishment, really about education. I'm Teresa Freeman for localonlinenews.tv.